Okay, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen of the YouTube community. I'm about to do my last video in this house because we're about to move. So this will be my final home theater tour in this house for 2023. Make it real quick. Made a few changes here. Um, so right away, the first thing is, no more blue walls. Painted the walls down in the basement. They are now like a steel gray. To match that, finally, now that I'm leaving, I've replaced my radio carpet with a sort of steel gray. They're very complimentary to the walls. Steel gray um, carpet that goes with the steel gray walls. Taking all of my um, posters and whatnot off the wall. and Just got a few things. So we had the house up. Um, for open house to be sold, uh, open house last week, got a lot of offers and, uh, and now someone has, we've accepted one offer and they will be the new occupants of this home and they will take over and continue the legacy of this nice home that we've had for over a decade. All right. Got my Avengers poster up. I've got my coming to America. Eddie Murphy up there, and I've got my 007 of all the 007 movies in the past here. Um, so, those are the only posters I have up. My home office is still over here. It's empty now. Everything's off the walls. Only thing I've got left now is just the bare necessities to continue working for the day. I still work from home. And you know, and I've got all of my systems up here. But that's it. Everything else in the room is pretty much gone. A credenza, a desk, a chair, my system, and, and my uh, plasma. It's got a plasma TV from 2008. You don't see that every day. Okay, back into the major room. Now showing sign. And I split it in half once again. One side for two channel. All of my records there. And I've got a 110 inch screen here that I had to put back together that I'm leaving for the next occupant of this home. And uh, some of my records here, the old guitar there, two channel Sony um, system set up here. I've got a Sony, uh, the model is, what is the model? Um, no, I'm not gonna be able to see it. Don't see it. Oh, there we go. The uh, Sony receiver STR D15. That's sitting on top of an old Technics, which I'm giving to my daughter to put in her room. Um, it is a Technics uh, SA GX690. And below that is the complimentary um, multi disc, a multi compact disc player, the SL PD807. So that's my two channel setup here. A few albums on the wall, my vinyl um, record clock my daughter gave me for, I believe, Father's Day. And, uh, you know, some associated cleaning tools for the vinyl. Um, and this stuff is just really sitting on tables and TV tables in the interim. Just had it set up for staging. Uh, the uh, complimentary chair for listening. And then I'm already starting to pack up my albums, pack up, uh, going to get another one of these crates from Lowe's to uh, uh, secure these things for the travel. Got a Wonder Woman. Got to have a Wonder Woman. Got my Sony 4K, which, by the way, is staying with the house. Um, they made an offer saying, hey, can you keep, can I leave the uh, 4K projector behind? And I said yes, because actuality the new house is just as big but it's a downgrade because there's fewer rooms meaning i have no basement in the new house we have a rec room sort of but it's just not big enough throw a distance to have a nice 160 inch screen like i have in here so we've leaving the 160 inch screen behind which it is really just um it, it's just a, a painted wall with a felt trim but everyone believes it's a screen and it works just as good. I paint it and clean it regularly, make it nice. But the original screen is back there, 110 inch.
got off of uh, Amazon, I believe. Okay, um, so center channel, RC64 Mark III, uh, keeping that, among the scholars, of course, left and, and right, keeping those. My Sony, these are used as a surround left and right, the SSU 77030 model number. These were inherited. Um, my uh, my father-in-law passed. These were his speakers as long as well as the Sony's back here. These are model uh, SS512. Great speakers, by the way. I love Sony's. I love that the Sony. I I like to really have Sony everything. They're actually quite good. Um, my SPS PB2000s. Um, and, and doing sometime doing a showing, this particular PB2000 stopped working. I don't know what happened. I don't know if I need to replace the amp or it's just, I don't know what happened, but it stopped. So it just gives me an excuse to <laughs> get new subs. I would love in my new house to have everything JBL synthesis. That's my dream. That's what I want to do. And I'm on audio advice pricing everything. And uh, it got pretty pricey by the time I finished. And I didn't put the expensive stuff in. By the time I finished my cart, it was pretty, pretty pricey. Uh, the Logitech Harmony remote, I'm still rocking that. That with my cradle over here, keep it. But I'm going to turn that on for you. And just to play Xbox, that's my, uh, my general usage down here. I don't have a Blu-ray uh, uh, an oppo or anything like that so i actually use my xbox one um series x2 as as the whenever i do actually play an actual disc i use the xbox to do that with but primarily most movies will of course be streaming with disney plus and and uh, hbo max and amazon uh, prime video netflix but also have a netflix account i mean not netflix but a plex account most of my movies have been ripped and they're stored on my computer in my office. And that's the source for most of the movies um, that aren't streamed. I would love to have a cloud escape, but big money, big money, big money. Of course, okay, going through the system really quick here. This is my D9. It is the X4500H, a couple years old now. Still works. I did have to take it in, turn it in for an HDMI board. Um, and I actually had to get it repaired twice. And even now, I have some HDMI drop-offs with the projector every now and then. So at some point, I want to replace that. I've been looking at the new Mar Marantz, um, uh, the Marantz Cinema 50 as a replacement for this. And I'll put, probably put this in another room, in, in the rec room. I use the uh, Cinema 50, or I've been looking at the MR1 for Emotiva. So this is my Emotiva, uh, what is this model? It's a Basex, the Alpha 5175, which is a discontinued model, no longer sold by Emotiva, but it's a five channel. That works great. And I'm thinking I'll get that, I could get that MR1 uh, Basex receiver, and it's got lots of power on it, more than I need, and for the subs. So I want to get the JBL subs, four in walls with the twin eights, I think it's an SS. SSW4, I believe it's a model, one in each corner, and I can use this, even though it's probably on about 170, 75 um, watts per channel, to power those passive subs. It'll do in a pinch. I don't need a lot of power, I don't think, um, but that's what I'm looking at, either that or two crowns, because I looked at the JBL synthesis power, that's, uh, power amps that are made for the passive subs. They're way too expensive for me, like four grand a piece. That's way too much money. Way too much. Got a Panamax M4300, M4300 PM. Can you see that there? Um, let's see. Nope, that didn't work. <laughs> as the as the uh, uh, power conditioner there. My assortment of remotes, of course. Cable box for Verizon. Uh, I've already taken down my PS, PS4. I don't have a 5 yet, so I'm really thinking about upgrading this to the newest um, Xbox and upgrading the PS4 to the latest PS5. An Asus um, a router repeater. Going to probably get rid of that and start all over again. My Logitech hub. This is the Philips Hue hub to control all the Hue lights. And, of course, an Alexa device 
to uh, control everything by voice. Some of the Alexa, um, the Alexa lights, lights here, one here, one there, a couple up in the uh, overhead, and a couple in the lamps here. So that's kind of the, the whole thing. This is it. This room has been good to me. I've spent many, many hours. My children spent many, many hours. We have lots of sleepovers, lots of fun in this room. Um, my sectional is gone the way of the dodo. It's no longer so. I brought this out of my office and it's just sitting here temporarily. Uh, just a really inexpensive, casual, not super comfortable, but casual. It look good for staging um, for the time being. It's going to probably go in my wife's office in the new house. She's already claimed it. <laughs> um, but I'll get, uh, we'll probably, we're actually going to use our sectional that's upstairs in the new rec room and get something new for the living room. So that's it. Farewell 2023 in this home. Now moving on to the next adventure. And I'll start a new series on that and how we, we're going to develop those rooms. So in the meantime, like Bangin' Olufsen says, we're going to hear, see, and feel it. And I uh, enjoy it along the way. So thanks so much. Didn't show my face in this video because I look the best right now. I've been working and sweating and doing all things all day. And uh, I'm looking forward to the next evolution, the next adventure in this process. We all love Home Theater 2 channel, music videos, and more. So thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you again on the other side. Peace.